It's Brenda Stoller, your Mashables tech reporter, and I'm here with Apple's new 24-inch iMac that I've been using for about a week now. So here's some things that I think you should know about Apple's new desktop. One of the nicest things about the new 24-inch iMac is that it comes in a bunch of different color options. So you'll have the choice between seven colors, including yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, orange, and silver. Each of the colored iMacs have this dual tone look to them. So the front is a pastel with a white bezel, and then the stand and the back is more of a darker version of that color. I really appreciate Apple's attention to detail with these colored iMacs. So depending on the color you get, you'll also get a matching keyboard and a matching magic mouse. The cables are braided to also match the specific color of your iMac. And then there's also some minor things that you'll find while using the iMac. So for example, when I'm in Safari, the text box is outlined in yellow, or when I'm highlighting words, it's highlighted in yellow. So there's these little fun Easter eggs that you'll kind of find throughout, which is just a nice little touch. Um, of course, the color will depend on whichever iMac you get. One other thing that I think is very much worth highlighting is that the iMac is portable, which is a very weird thing to say about a desktop, but it weighs at just under 10 pounds and it is 11.5 millimeters thin. I can't say that it'll sit anywhere but my desk in my room, but it also gives you the option to take it to the living room or even throw it in the trunk of your car if you're planning to travel somewhere where you need something as powerful as an iMac. That's something I wasn't able to say about the 27 inch iMac, which is basically twice as heavy as this one. Um, so carrying it for me was just a little terrifying. And speaking of that 27 inch iMac, Apple has implemented the same 1080p webcam that they introduced last year to this 24 inch iMac, which is an excellent upgrade from the 720p webcams that you find on the MacBooks, um, especially in a world where we are still constantly video chatting. The 1080p just really enhances image quality and just overall makes you look a lot nicer. Part of the reason why Apple was able to make this iMac so thin is because they've finally ditched the Intel chips for their own M1 silicon. So in addition to a faster CPU and faster GPU, the M1 allows the iMac to run more like an iPhone. So basically you have access to some iOS apps and then any Intel based apps will run through its Rosetta 2 technology technology, so you'll still be able to use them until they're optimized for that chip. As far as the display goes, the 24-inch iMac has a 4.5K Retina display, and colors on this thing are really bright and really crisp, to the point where I preferred using it to watch TV shows and movies over my actual big screen TV. Apple has also introduced Touch ID to the iMac by implementing it into the Magic Keyboard. Now, the base model of the iMac just comes with a regular Magic Keyboard, but you can upgrade to Touch ID for $50 extra. Now, I personally wouldn't drop an extra $50 for Touch ID, but I will say it was nice not having to type my password in each time when I was downloading apps or making purchases with Apple Pay. It did go a lot quicker by literally just placing my fingerprint on the keyboard. One other thing that's important to know is that the base model comes with two ports on the back and is only available in four of those seven colors, while the more expensive configurations have four ports and are available in all seven colors. Overall, the new 24-inch iMac is really an excellent all-in-one desktop. I mean, I can't speak for creatives who really might push this thing past its limit with specific apps, but for someone like me who really only needs a desktop for things like web browsing, word processing, emailing, and messaging, it does the trick and it performs super smoothly. I have really zero complaints other than that certain colors are locked behind certain configurations and it can get a little pricey depending on which model you choose. But if you've been holding off on either upgrading or just purchasing a new desktop, I can assure you that this is 
definitely worth the investment. I mean, it's compact, it's lightweight, it looks great in really any space. It has a beautiful display and it just runs super well. Plus, the color alone will just really boost your mood on even those super rough days where you don't wanna be staring at a computer. Unless you got the silver option, which should not have even been included. As far as price and availability goes, the 24-inch iMac starts at $12.99 for the base model and begins shipping May 21st. And to check out our full review, head over to Mashable.